I am not sure how you feel about the term scrub plane, but I know I see it very differently now than when I first started using one. I used to see it as this plane that just hogged off material, uh, it got down through the rough levels to a more smooth level, and then I finished it off with a regular plane. I've got two planes here. They look identical side by side from the top, but when you look on the underside, there were planes made specifically called scrub planes. What we've done is we've adapted one plane and made a scrub plane from it, and you'll be able to see that on one of our, uh, on one of our videos. But right inside here, I, I can see I've got this one dead straight across, and this one I've got a curvature to it, and I've also opened up the mouth on this one to make it into a scrub plane. But I don't refer to this as some kind of bulldog of a dog that just roughs its way through. I see it as a refining plane that gets me nearer to where I need to be, saves me time, and it gets me to a point where I can use my regular smoothing plane more quickly. Let me give you a couple of examples so you can understand it. Typically, this plane would be, would have, was developed to get through some of this. These rough band saw marks, circular saw marks, it's just come out of the kiln. It's got cups and divots in there. It's got all manner of things going on in this, in this surface. And rather than taking the smoothing plane, which might take me forever to get down, we go with a plane where we've opened up the mouth, we've set the cap iron away from the cutting edge, and we have got a blade that protrudes quite considerably. So what we do, now I'm planing some mesquite here, that's just about almost twice as hard as oak, but watch what happens. At first it seems like it's doing nothing, but we're getting through those high spots, and we're getting into the lower region, and we get through that quite quickly. Now we need that because we're not resorting to belt sanders and power planers, we're just using our hand tools. So look what's happened here already. I see those lines just disappearing as if I'm erasing them with an eraser. And that's where we got to. So we got this beautiful grain under here. One of the neat things about this plane is I can actually leave this with the undulation in there and that will look like a vintage piece of furniture that's 150 or 200 years old. So that's what I might use it for. I might use it as a texturing plane to give me a, a, an old surface feel to it. So that's where we would normally use it. You can tell I'm a little out of breath. This is a good workout for me. What about something like this? Well, let me, here is a, uh, chocks that I hold my my saws in and I might want to get nearer to the edge and I might want to put a bevel on here so I just take my plane with a heavy set and I see the bevel that I want on this side I go to this side like this so I put a bevel on there, which worked perfectly. So that enables me to get tightness right by the saw, gives me access with my fingers around the file going towards the blade. Okay, what about this one? Let's say I've got this thick piece of wood and I want to reduce it to this thickness. So I want it this thick. What I can do with my scrub plane now is mark this perimeter. Now imagine this. I'm going to show you one thing on this, but then try and imagine a variety of other things you might need this for. Let's say I take this edge down here, like this. Okay. Let's say I take the other end down, exactly the same. This is why I love this plane. It, you, must get one of these. Do you have to buy a second plane? No, you don't. You can just actually take a blade and have a second blade and use that in your existing Stanley. You just don't have the open throat for it. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? So what am I doing here? I'm using a very common crude scrub plane to create 
a chamfer on here. So this could just as easily be a raised panel. That's not really what I'm doing right now, but it can be used for that. So these are the versatility, this is the versatility. Go along here, like this. Get down to your depth, like that. So I've got a raised panel, that's not what I'm doing, as I said, this is me getting this board thinner down to the thickness I want, but here, here. So I'm gonna go with a heavier set even to make this a little bit quicker. And we've got a video that shows you how to get this plane in the zone and get it to where I've got mine. But watch this now. I've got these outer edges down. Why did I do that? So I can scrub across here and take the midsection down without chewing up that outer edge. And I just work across my wood like this, get the bulk of the waste down. I keep going until I've got down, but part way through here, I'm going here, like this. And I'm going down very quickly. So when you look at this surface now, what I see on this surface, I can see the undulation of the plane. It's up to me now whether I want to keep this undulation or whether I want to go with my smoothing plane. My smoothing plane will give me a pristine surface like this, but I might want the textured surface again. So those are elements of using this. What about this? What if this was a rail and I wanted a 45 degree bevel on here? How about that? Does that work or not? Let me go around this way. Same on this one. Top of a newel post, top of a fence post, anything like that. I want to declare that this is a very versatile plane and should never be under, underestimated. I use it all the time. If a board is out of square, out of parallel, I'll use it to make the board parallel. And I just love it. So there is my chamfer all the way around. Chamfer down here, it works the same way. Let's say this board, this board is actually parallel. Let's say it's not parallel or it's got a wany edge on there. I take this, put it in the vise, take my scrub plane like this, and I hog off the thick end like this and it goes down very rapidly then I elongate my strokes like this I can't do this I can do it with a, a regular smoothing plane I can do it with this plane but because it's a finer set plane it takes me much longer so these are my ways of speeding up my work in the everyday of life and that's what I have for you. You get one of these, you'll be in the zone, you'll love using one, and you'll have it for the rest of your life, which is what I want. Mm -hmm.